so that's that's a tricky question for me. Like I've always grown up like singing in the choir, uh, youth praise team, and stuff right, like that. Right, um, right. I wrote my first song when I was ten. It was trash. Growing up, um, I lived in a couple of different um, inner city situations, um, and I kind of liked uh, I kind of liked being uh, the only white kid in my neighborhood. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I just have to be honest. I like attention. Um, I have to be careful about good attention versus bad attention. It's but good I like it though. Okay, right, right, and uh, so. Um, one of the places, so I lived in a couple of different big areas in California, Central and Southern. And then I also lived in El Paso, um, which I know the rest of Texas don't claim it. And I understand why. Um, that's why God built some mountains around El Paso to kind of shoot the rest of Texas from it. Um, and people from there, we called it Hell Paso. Wow. It's not, it's not a good place to live. But um, some of it had to do with just for my affinity uh, for uh, urban culture and um you know, early stuff that I listened to um, before I came to Christ. Um, I got introduced to, you know, uh, like Cypress Hill uh, yeah. and and <clears throat> Beastie Boys and uh, and then some more, um, you know, like heavier stuff like uh, the Ghetto Boys. And um, obviously, you know, every white kid thinks they're cool for listening to NWA and all that stuff. And so um, I was <laughs> I was listening to a lot of that stuff with my friends and just realized, dude, man, I, I love this. This helps me kind of express who I am. And, right. and I had shared with you earlier that uh, I'm what you call neurodivergent um, with a very misunderstood <laughs> ADHD. And so music speaks to me and always has in just uh, a very unique way. Um, sometimes, and, and we all find that, right? Because I think yes. God created music to help us to express ourselves yes. as humans. And so I'd hear a song or or hear some bars and I'd be like, oh, dude, that's how I feel. How did you get into my mind? So that's that's a tricky question for me. Like, I've always grown up, like, singing in the choir, um, youth praise team, stuff like that. Um, I wrote my first song when I was 10. It was trash. Um, just wasn't good at all. And, uh, <laughs> from there, I, I started rapping like in middle school, high school, uh, like freestyling at the lunch tables and stuff like okay. that. And then, uh, I, I let it go. Like I, I didn't do it. I did battling and stuff like that early on in college. Then I stopped. Um, and then that was it. Then when I joined the army, moved out here to Lawton, Oklahoma, that was like in 2008. Still didn't mess with it at all because I hadn't done music in so long. Um, and then 2011, I believe it was. That was in 2011. A uh, brother by the name of Moses Oatman invited me out to a uh, dorm room on Cameron University's campus to record some background vocals. We, uh, we were singing in the choir together. And he asked me to come out and record some background vocals. And when he was there, I was like, hey, man. I used to rap back in the day, man. Let me rap on one of your songs. He was like, all right, man, go ahead. Right? But he he didn't mean go ahead, like, go ahead and rap on the song. He was like, go ahead, like, man, go somewhere with that. Because I was a comedian, so everybody thought I was joking. So I was like, man, no, nah, let me let me rap. So he finally let me get on a song. He heard it. He thought it was dope. Uh, he sent me to um, another brother in the church, Fur, to uh, kind of own my skills. I was kind of rusty, kind of new at the same time. Uh, spent some time over there with them met who would be like my partner in this music for the longest time, Roddy Mitchell and uh, Red Sun. And then from there, we formed Alpha Team. That had a good run. And then I was I was solo. So I, I marked my beginning in 2012. That's when I first recorded a single song for myself, um, you know, by myself for, you know, the purpose of putting out music for um, so 2012. So. Wow. He was lost. He was lost. He was seeking identity. He was a hustler. <laughs> okay. 
I what? live that life that they call it, not the life of Christ, the life of the world. You know, I've been incarcerated twice. I've experienced this is my third marriage. Amen. Um, I've um, man, I've been homeless. I've been man, you name it. I've I've experienced it. I've experienced it. Hmm. And um, just. My last journey being incarcerated is when I found the Lord, you know, when I finally surrendered and accepted him. And uh, it was a lot of things I experienced. I lost a lot of things on that journey, but I gained more, if I could say that. I gained my identity. I gained my purpose. And uh, I just gained existence, my brother. Wow. Wow. Bye. Bye. Sure. So King Train is goes by the name Anthony. That's my guy. That's his government. Um, I've known that dude since we were like fifth grade. So we go back way, way, way long. Pause. Um, but we've been making music together for a while um, since about that time. Um, you know, the first the first project he and I put out um, was on Cool Edit Pro, which wow. is now Adobe Audition. But back then it was Cool Edit Pro. And you remember the PlayStation 2 game, the Def Jam Rock the Mic Absolutely. game? It yeah. came with the little, that was the microphone that we used, a little USB <laughs> microphone that goes into the video. Yeah. So we turned on the cool edit. We had, a, we had that microphone plugged into a, like a, a really busted Toshiba laptop. And I had my pop filter was a little wire hanger with a pantyhose around it. That was my pop filter. And we just started making music as best we could it was obviously terrible it was our first try but that's how far back me and uh wow. me and king train go he went by a train back then now he's grown i guess he king train now shout out to my guy okay. um one of the one of the coldest lyricists one of the best rappers that nobody's ever heard of in this town you know he's got some following people heard of him but he don't he don't have the recognition or the credit that he deserves for how good he is wow um and you know most recently uh, yeah i want to i want to do videos that's part of it selfishly i want to selfishly is why i kind of really got into promoting him and becoming you know a management or media team for him as an artist uh, i want to do videos and i want to continue to hone that craft but i want him to have um some spotlight on him and get some recognition that he deserves 